this just arrived. It's a taster box of different hays from, like for the rabbits, from haybox.co.uk I think it was. Um, so I've got like a few different ones and I'm going to see which ones they like. And also like whilst Lou is recovering, I think it's better that she can have like, she can choose which hay she likes the most. Oh, so that one is meadow hay. That is Timothy hay. I mean, to me, hay is hay. Timothy hay, not puppy hay. Soft cut Timothy hay. I think this was a popular one for fussy rabbits, they said. No way. And then that one is coarse cut Timothy hay. So I'm gonna try the fussy rabbit hay, I think. Excuse the cage, it's a little bit of a mess. So because it's in a box and they can have cardboard, I'm just gonna put it in. So Tallulah looks a little bit worse for wear. They ended up having to shave her nose because she had um, complications, I think I mentioned. And then her eyes were a little bit weepy, which she suffers with quite a bit anyway. Um, excuse me. So I've ended up just putting it in the first and third hole so they can both eat together because Enzo was probably gonna just tip it out. vlog I thought I would check in and just let you know how I'm getting on yesterday I packed pretty much all the orders there's like three that had sheets missing so I cut those this morning um, and then the plan for the whole day and probably tomorrow is just to try and do the mystery kit and like get it all finished ready for Thursday when it can ship um, I do need to do the labels for the orders that I packed yesterday so they'll probably ship tomorrow um, but yeah the main focus for the rest of the week is the mystery kit which is annoying because I can't film it but I will try and do like other things in between just so we get a little bit of vlog content um, right now I'm going to go and get my nails done I have no idea what I want to get done um, I have the grown out glittery green at the minute um, which was really nice but you can see like they, they need changing so yeah I'm about to go nip and do that now I don't know what to do with the length because I can't remember if I told the vlog, um, I bought a guitar, so I'm, I'm trying to learn guitar, I haven't done very much, but I was struggling with the length of my nails when they were short, so I don't know if I want to stay short, but to be fair I don't think I'm going to be doing much guitar learning in the next few weeks, so I might keep them longer this time and then go short, I don't know. But do any of you play guitar? Is it really hard? Where should I begin? Because I really wanted to learn with, there's a game, I can't remember the name of the game, if I can remember it, I'll put it on screen. Um, but it's not out, like the new version isn't out yet, so I was waiting for that, but then I was like, I should try and just learn the basics like on YouTube. Um, so I've been trying to learn a few chords. So yeah, let me know if you have any tips, but I'm gonna go and get my nails done now. unexpectedly had a call from a Canon engineer to come and see the wide format printer um, he was like is today a good time and I was like yeah I guess and he's like I can be there in 20 minutes so just had a big scramble to try and like clean things up a little bit in the office I doubt they care but just feel a little bit weird like I feel like it needs to be a little bit cleaner so I've just tidied up and I'm just waiting for him to come now so yeah we'll see what they say hopefully it's a quick and easy fix and hopefully it's covered under the warranty I'm also really low on ink, I actually ran out of grey ink because I've been doing so many cleanings and ironically the ink that is not low, the MBK, is the one that I'm having issues with. If you can see these jagged lines, these are what you're not meant to see. I don't know how clear it is because I'm like wobbling the camera but it's meant to look like this, look nice and clear.
So I completely forgot to update you about the Canon. Um, basically it is a defected print head. The guy basically came and ran like so much troubleshooting, loads of tests. He was here for like an hour I think. Um, he was like if you have any work to get on with feel free to do it. So I just sat here and worked as well. Um, so we were co-workers for a bit which was fun. <laughs> but um, yeah it's a defective print head. He thinks given the amount of usage the printer has had that it has sort of died prematurely. So because I didn't buy the printer from Canon, I bought it from a supplier, I have to go to the supplier and say, um, this is the opinion of the Canon engineer, would you please replace it? And they can do like a warranty claim with Canon directly, but because I bought it from them, I can't get a replacement from Canon. So that's fine, that's all gone through. Um, they were really good about it, they, they weren't like hesitant at all, they were like, oh really sorry. Um, so yeah, that's all in motion, I'm waiting for a new print head to arrive. So. It wasn't like an instant solution when the Canon guy came, but on the whole, I'm really happy with the Canon customer service. It was really good. Um, I think it's because it is like a business product and they assume like you're probably a big business and like me, um, and they probably think like you're gonna be out of work, which is like completely realistic for a lot of people, whereas I'm not actually using it. The guy came out within like 24 hours of me logging my support requests, so I'm really happy with that. The only downside is the buyer that I had interested, he really needed it by this week um, and he won't be able to have it by this week so I've kind of lost my sale I think but it's okay because I would have needed to have it fixed for a new buyer anyway like this would have always cropped up um, I should have really checked it when I listed it for sale but I didn't because I didn't think it would break because I leave it turned on all the time so that it can do regular nozzle cleans and it's supposed to avoid this problem. The main thing is it's getting sorted and hopefully I can sort out another buyer eventually. In terms of what I'm doing today, I've got the mystery to do. It's all prepped, I've got it all labelled up, everything is cut. I'm waiting for a second delivery of postcards which should arrive like in the next like hour. Um, I just need four. So basically I ordered 100 postcards and then I didn't realise that I didn't have the final numbers for the mystery. I thought I did but there are a few people that renew um, on the 2nd and 3rd because the first ever sign up for the mystery it was open the 27th to the 3rd whereas normally it's the 25th to the 1st so I have a very small amount of people that are billed on the 2nd and 3rd and I forgot about them when I was accounting for the numbers so I ordered 100 postcards and it actually needed like 104 which is really annoying because they don't do them in like small amounts so I had to order 100 and then a separate 100 but it's fine because I am planning on selling the extra postcards when the kits release in a year's time but it just meant that they were like going to come separately on separate days um, and then I had to pay more because it would have been cheaper if I just ordered 250 which is the next like price break um, but I had to order 100 twice so it's fine I'm just waiting on like four more and then I can take them to the post office I've got all my labels printed um, what else am I doing today I want to do some of the albums but if I don't get it done it's not the end of the world I've got some things I want to do around the house so I might just do that like prioritize uh, like personal stuff over work stuff because I'm not really going to get that much done today anyway so I think I will probably do that but we'll see how I feel I might do a bit of both like swap between tasks so it doesn't feel quite as monotonous <laughs> run I've just been editing the vlog and I'm gonna leave the vlog here because I need time to edit and upload it and I also have to pack I haven't packed anything at all yet and it's like 8 p.m so that's not ideal I'm really excited for my break though and you might see a little bit of footage at the beginning of next week's vlog depending what I get so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week for another studio vlog bye